Hello everybody, it's Jammy Jellyfish here again with a brand new video. I want to apologize for the quality of the last video. I had it set on a lower resolution to record because I was recording the game earlier, so I apologize for that. But yeah, I'm back and I promise the video quality is good. It's in full HD and everything. Anyways, today I wanted to show you guys how you can install Roblox on Arch Linux. The reason why I'm doing this is because, well, I found no user-friendly guides that are even up to date for installing Roblox on Arch Linux. Most of them are either unscripted, not user-friendly, etc. And they're also pretty much outdated. So, um, this tutorial will work on Arch-based distributions as well including Manjaro, Endeavor OS, Storm OS, Artix Linux, etc. Maybe even Arco Linux. Yeah, of course, Arco Linux too. Let's get started. All right, so before we do anything, you want to open up a terminal and you want to, as root, so sudo, and you want to use your favorite text editor, whether that be nano. Most people will probably use nano, but I use vim. And you want to edit the file slash etsy slash pacman.conf. Put in your password. And you will see multilib. If you go, like, let's say we're at the top, and you scroll down, you'll find multilib if you want to run 32 bit applications on your x86 64 system enable the multilib repositories as required here you don't need to enable multilib testing you just want to enable multilib like multilib testing there's going to be hashtags over this just delete those hashtags so let here's an example for people who haven't configured that it'll look like this and what you basically want to do is you just want to remove the hashtags which means you're uncommenting it and then you want to save the file you know if you're on like um let's say vim of course it's like escape and then colon wq enter to write and quit stuff i did q and exclamation mark because it detected like changes and i didn't want to save any changes cuz i already did that step and then you want to basically just sudo pacman syu just update that way what it's going to do it's going to create like the multilib file and such so you can actually use the repository and after all those steps are complete you want to install graphics libraries for your device I use Intel, so this these are the libraries I had to install. These are just Vulkan libraries. If you use something like an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, what you want to do is you just want to go and search Grape Juice GitLab. Here you're going to find the GitLab. And you want to scroll down. And you're going to find Install in Grape Juice. You're going to click the link that says documentation. And now that you're here, you're going to scroll all the way down and click installing graphics libraries. And over here, you're going to find for NVIDIA, AMD, Intel. And yeah, that's going to work for you. And once you've actually done that step, I suggest rebooting because I remember once I did this step and I didn't reboot and while well, it didn't go so well for me. I still had issues and I noticed that I had to reboot after installing these. So yeah, I suggest rebooting. Now once you've done that, I suggest installing a couple packages. So sudo pacman dash s and what you want to do is you want to put this flag dash dash needed so it doesn't like reinstall anything you already have installed. You want to of course install wine. You also want to install wget for a step we're going to do later and also p7zip and there we go as you can see if you already had these instead of just reinstalling it's going to skip making the process a little faster and you just want to go ahead and install all of these packages
now that it is done installing those packages you can clear your screen and now you want to install grape juice which you can access from the AUR so right here if you go to aur.archlinux.org this is the Arch user repository you just search for grape juice git make sure you don't install grape juice package without the git because like I had some issues on that as well grape juice git works better anyways so yeah you wanna copy this this git clone URL you want to git clone this thing if you don't have git installed you just do sudo pacman s git and I also recommend base devel it's gonna uh, uh, download all the packages you need and what you want to do is you would just copy this so by clicking on it you would you know wait not not like that you would git clone this thing right here and then you would cd into grape juice git if that's what I'm right if, if I'm correct here you would CD into grape juice git or it would be something similar if you don't know you can just run a quick ls or ls dash a it shouldn't be a hidden file but yeah you should just run ls and you're gonna find grape juice git whatever it's called and you want to cd into it of course and then you want to m make pkg dash si this will install grape juice for you or if some people who are a couple steps ahead you know they have Arch Linux set up for themselves what you can also do is you can use your favorite AUR helper for example I like to use the yay AUR helper it has some good features and everything you can just use yay s grape juice git and it's pretty much easier to do it like this Oh, that's e that's very weird. Oh, I misspelled grape juice right here. I forgot to put a J. There you go, grape juice kit. My mistake there. There we go. And as you can see, it is installing grape juice. Now it seems like we are done installing grape juice. Now what you can do is you can open your app launcher wherever you whatever you use to launch apps. And you want to go down and you're going to find grape juice. I'm just going to sort these out. So I'm just going to put that there. Put that there. I'm just I'm you don't need to do any of this. Literally all I'm doing is just organizing. There we go. So yeah, I've just organized it, but you want to open grape juice. And um, you want to go to player and you just want to click create. If it gives you a pop-up like this, just click install. Now that that's done installing, the pop-up closes itself. And in a couple seconds, you will see a Roblox pop-up just like this as if you're installing Roblox on let's say like a Windows machine this is like the pop-up you get except I think the bar is green but yeah whatever you wanna click OK it's gonna take a couple seconds here and it's installed make sure it says Vulkan over here and this part is done now you can hypothetically just open up your web browser go to Roblox play your favorite game but there is another step that I suggest doing because if 
you don't do the steps that I'm about to show you, you will have an error, let's say like your mouse error, you try to move your camera using right click in Roblox, your mouse will get stuck and you will like need to exit Roblox, open another app, open Roblox again for it to be unstuck. And there is a patched version of grape juice that you can install that, well, it solves all these issues. So just like earlier, you just want to search up grape juice GitLab. My bad. There we go. Right here. And you want to click this one again. One we went to last time, of course. You want to scroll down and click on the documentation. And you want to go down again. And this time, instead of installing graphics libraries, you want to click installing wine. So, right here we have, see, you need wget, of course. So, I'm just going to copy this command here first. There we go. So, as it says in the instructions, first, cd into your temp folder. And you want to wget this, install wget, how I showed earlier. There we go. And then, you don't need to clear, you. then you want to run python3 install.py. You need to have Python install for this, but with grape juice, I'm pretty sure it's going to install it as like a dependency, maybe. And um, yeah, it's going to work. If you get an error at the end, you need to install p7zip, or yeah, you just need to install p7zip, how I showed earlier, wget in p7zip, as well as wine. Of course, I showed you guys how to do that earlier in the video. And there you go, Wine TKG installation has succeeded. Now we can close that. And we are about done. So, yeah, you can just uh, open up a game. I'm just going to open up Natural disas Disaster Survival in this. Yeah, you can play any game you like. Just click the green play button for it. You want to always allow Roblox to open Roblox Player links. It's going to take a little. It's going to take a second. There you go. You see the wine pop up, and you see the Roblox pop up. Starting Roblox, getting everything ready for you. I will turn down my graphics because, like, first of all, I really have. I don't really have a good computer. I have a low-end laptop. Yeah, let me just turn down the volume, camera sensitivity, and change from automatic to manual. There you go. And as you can see, everything's working very, very nicely. So yeah, you can now start playing Roblox, enjoy your favorite games, and yeah that's about it um thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you if you're a beginner with arch or you're using an arch based distribution and you want to install roblox um, let me know in the comments if you have any issues i will try to help you guys and uh that's about it this is jammy jellyfish signing off goodbye